you know I've seen a lot of videos and I've gardened a lot in my life um, when I was a child that's how we kind of partially fed the family and beets have always been something that we really just couldn't grow in my area you plant a beet that red that red stalk there birds and squirrels would eat that as soon as it's coming out of the ground and so you always had to buy canned beets cause fresh beets you just didn't have them back those days not in the stores nowadays they're ubiquitous ubiquitous ah. anyway so you can get them everywhere and so like I was making some borscht the other day and also I'm doing a a mead made out of beets and so I had four very big beets and I cut the tops off of them and the two biggest ones that showed the most promise I saved them and I put some water just like you see here and of course it started sprouting but what else started sprouting see those little eyes you know what this reminds me of this reminds me of a potato and I think that I can cut up this root like a potato and get multiple beets from just one beet. I think I can treat this like a potato. I have never seen this in any gardening articles, any gardening magazines, papers, research, any of that. I have never seen on YouTube, so this is a first. We're gonna propagate beets like we do a potato. And so we've had a ton of storms and there's a thing called electroculture that is a theory and I, I, I may be doing an experiment soon about electroculture because every time it storms these things grow about a quarter of an inch so we this right here was that size the other day so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let these continue growing so next time you see this they will look drastically different. I'm just showing you the beginning stages because this is what this was a week ago. It looked kind of like this. Not even a week ago, just a few days. Not even a week. So it'll be just a few days from now and this will look like this. And then I'll cut it up. I'll put it in a, a box or something other and we will plant them and get multiple beets out of just two roots. So we're gonna treat them like potatoes. Stick around. As you probably can hear in the background, the storm is coming, so I'm trying to get this handled. So what I've done, I got a leaf pile. We got a ton of oak leaves at this new property, and I got an old tote and I filled that tote about six inches, no more than eight inches with leaves. And then I put some topsoil on top of it. And you can see the leaves coming through it. So obviously I didn't care too much about there being a topsoil level. So let's see what we're doing now. Now you can see these radishes have grown tremendously. And I've got a little uh, razor blade right here. So we're going to cut these little eyes out as if they were potato eyes and plant them individually. And by doing this, we should have multiple radishes if this experiment works. Okay, it's popping lightning, so I've got to make this fast. Here are all the pieces cut up. Okay, it is storming like crazy now. And all of the radish sets have been planted in the tubs, and I'm going to cover them with some topsoil. All right, as you can see, I've been way more liberal with the dirt. 
Um, in fact, you can't see some of the radishes. And the reason for that is because I'm fixing to be crazy and run out in the rain and put this in the rain where it can get water. Um, there's no drain holes, but shouldn't get flooded out by this storm. If it does, I'll put some drain holes in this and then we'll get it to a more secure location. Uh, next time you see this, probably be in about a week or two, we'll see how the it comes out. Okay, that storm only lasted maybe an hour or so and didn't do much, so I went ahead and watered this in good. So you can see all the stems that were covered so all that's now showing through and there's still dirt around them so there's enough soil that they will now have some type of root system to develop i'm not expecting a hundred percent success rate but if i get sixty percent i would be tickled something to note beets are actually a part of the goosefoot family and goosefoot is a very diversified plant family uh, so in addition to beets you have swiss chard spinach and quinoa in that family among others so there really isn't a root other than beets that we get out of this family and so maybe that's the reason why people don't know that you can grow them like potatoes uh, and that also explains why beetroot tops taste very similar to spinach so when you cook beetroot tops they can be used as a substitute for spinach here in America most people don't know that and they throw the tops away but if you look you see all that red beets come in yellow red a number of colors what else in this family comes in a number of colors chard so that kind of lets you know and you know what you're dealing with so when you're when you're dealing with fruits and vegetables it really does help to understand the family and how the family works in this case goosefoot I must say I'm actually very impressed have had nearly a hundred percent rooting so all these little eyes they have started producing new plants this one is it, it died back and even it's coming back so I would say I've got unless there's one that I'm not seeing I would say that I've got a hundred percent if not a hundred percent nearly a hundred percent success with this naturally time will tell and we'll see how these plants do I'll keep fertilizing it's raining right now uh, or sprinkling and uh, so they're getting water right now naturally but I'll make sure they stay watered and we'll see how they progress. Well, we've had some of them die most of them though have lived so I would say about 80% mm, of what I've planted has lived you know right over here in this area I lost some 
and then over here in this area I've lost some one right there is trying to die but most of all the ones I thought never would make it they're doing very well it's going to take about six to eight weeks for these to grow so I'm not going to wait the full six to eight weeks for I po post this video instead I'm going to just go ahead and cut the video here and then I'll do another video just give you an update once uh, we we have nice big giant beets but this right here is proof of concept you can grow a beet just like a tater so they make eyes or something very similar to an eye and they can that this two beet tops and I've got all these beets now didn't have to grow them from seed or nothing so that's awesome that's fantastic if you hadn't already give video a thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell for future content and I will see you again next time bye